draw a straight line to split the points in blue and red into two different groups. Each group with one color only. Can this be done? Jump over the wall is the answer. Let's see the details. As demonstrated in the previous part of the video, it is impossible if we stick to the original two-dimensional space and try to draw a line, split the points into two groups where each group is only one color. Impossible. However, a correct answer is possible. In fact, always available somewhere in the higher dimension. Okay, let's imagine you cannot walk across a wall directly because you will hit the wall. But you can move yourself up by jumping over the wall. Okay, if you see from if someone see from the top, which is still a straight line, it is equivalent to walk through the wall. Yes, this is a diagram to represent the, the imagination story. If you go through directly, you hit the wall from the side view, but you up yourself to higher dimension and jump over the wall. From the side view, obviously, this person just bring up himself and get over the wall. But from the top view, there's no way we can see the third dimension, which is how this person jump out. Okay, from the top view, we will see this person suddenly just walk through the wall, even though from the side view, we know he is jump over no okay okay so this jump over wall demonstrate a solution of straight line in higher or additional dimension but that doesn't mean we can create a new dimension without systematic mathematical process okay so let's see this is the original two dimensional space and uh, with the colors we convert to coordinate where you have x1, x2, and c stand for color. So in the left hand side, uh, it's negative 10 for x1 and 0 for x2, and the color is red. Yeah, so in total, we have seven points three points in the left, sorry, two points in the left, three points in the center, and two points in the right. Instead of the space, a uh, two dimensional space, we convert to uh, like a table, coordinate tables. Now, Let's create a new or third dimension using the most simple polynomial function where the third dimension is a constant multiplied the first dimension plus another constant multiplied the second dimension power with the n where n is uh, integer number. Okay, So, in the most simple polynomial case, a and b, we just assume equals to 1 and n equals to 2 for a case of the most simple polynomial, power 2, rather than power 3, 4, 5, 6, just power 2 first. So we expand and obtain the x3 is x1 power 2 plus 2 x1 x2 plus x2. Although you already noticed in the, in the previous diagram, the x1 always 0. My mistake, x2 always 0 actually. Okay, so let's see. The table form from the original x1 x2 and the color we expand to x1 x2 and x3 with the color we use the equation of x3 that we just found okay because x2 always zero in this case we know the x3 is simply equals to the x1 power by 2 so negative 10 become 100 Negative 9 become 81. Negative 1 become 1. 0 will be still 0. 1 will be still 1. 9 and 10 become 81 and 100 respectively. So we have three dimensions now. X1, X2, X3 with the points in red or blue. Now if we plot the three dimensional space graph where X1 goes to the in horizontal, X2 is in vertical, X3 in vertical, X2 2 is perpendicular to the surface three dimensional graph we know x2 has been always zero so it will be lying on the side without any value while x x1 versus x3 will give us a nice distribution okay where the blue points are at the bottom 
while the red points in the left and right are on the above of the blue points. So therefore, the straight lines that we need to draw, it can be anywhere in between. This is a straight line. Okay? A straight line that never found in the original two dimension, but easily found in the uh, higher or third dimension. Of course, one way you can see, okay, if this can be the original data. Unfortunately, you see from here, you do not have a three dimension, but you only see from here, which is uh, from the bottom of the parabola. So therefore, you will see this three point focus, the blue points focus in the middle, while two red points in the left hand side and two points in the right hand side. So it is always about where you see, how you see it, the angle you see, the dimension you see it. Okay? So this problem can be actually solved in the third dimension or higher dimension. Of course, people will argue, what if the data, what if the problem is much more complicated where the non-linearity is even higher, where power 2 is not possible to get a solution. That will be quite easy. Let's change other coefficient value. For example, n change to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so on. So therefore, the polynomial expansion will be longer. So therefore, it goes to be higher dimension. But practical method, we just project the data into infinite dimension using an exponential-based function. We know the exponential function is a Euler a series where 1 plus z, exponential z is 1 plus z, jack, jack, jack power 2 over 2 factorial, and so on and so on and so on, and that never finish. Of course, in this case, the z can be uh, a x1 plus b x2, where a, a and b are the parameter or coefficient decided by the user. Okay, so by improving this method, okay, okay, from which is project the data from original dimension to higher dimension, so that the problem, a non-linear problem, a complicated problem, can be solved like a straight line like a simple straightforward solution in the higher dimension is actually the, the backbone concept of activation function of artificial neural network as well as the kernel function in the support vector machine a very popular machine learning method i will discuss about a, a neural network and support vector machine in uh, upcoming video okay so if you like my video do subscribe to my channel, give a like and share with others. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.